Hey everyone, welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Monday, April 26th. Great way to start the week, uh, plus 2,142.75. So let's go over these trades. I'll show you what we did, starting with the Mighty 90s. Uh, two for two on the Mighty 90s, Winner and Disney, plus 321. DKNG, plus 142. Uh, Netflix, minus 120. Zoom, minus 210. Did a pairs trade in gold versus silver, booked a small winner, 86 bucks. And then on the runners, over 1,900 on the runners, uh, did five of them, four of which were winners. Uh, small winner in the S&P futures, plus 33.75. AMD, plus 135. Roku, my biggest winner, went uh, a couple of trades, uh, plus 965. Win, minus 90. And Zoom, plus 880. So let's take a look at these. And I'll show you what we did. Uh, let's start with the mighty 90s, and we will start with Disney. So Disney had this initial push higher, a little volume spike. We got short right here near the top, and this thing just flushed lower, and we got out of all of our uh, all of our position right down here, the last of it. So plus, uh, what did I say, plus 321 in Disney, uh, DKNG plus 142. So in, uh, in DKNG, had this initial push lower, nice volume spike, got long right here. Uh, it bounced up, got out of most of it and held one little piece to see if we'd get some more. Oh, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. It was actually on this bounce. I got short. Uh, that, that makes more sense. Um, and so we got this initial flush, got out of most of my position here, held on to a little piece for, for some more lower prices. Never quite got there when it started to bounce here, got out of the rest, ended up booking a small winner of plus 142. Uh, Netflix minus 120. So let's take a look at Netflix. So Netflix had this initial weakness and then bounced up to the unchanged mark, had a little higher volume. So at this point, got short. Uh, started to try to roll over a couple times, but then just then pushed positive. When it made this big push up, added to it on this on the on another volume spike uh, about right here. And then once we got a little bit of downside, just cut out and uh, took a small loss on that one. Net net minus one twenty. And then on Zoom Zoom, Zoom was a nice winner overall, but on the Mighty 90 trade that we took in Zoom, that was a that was a loser. Uh, Zoom was coming down, had a nice little volume pop here, got long right here, looking for a bounce. Uh, as you can see, it kept pushing. Uh, I was thinking about adding, but this volume bar got so big that I ended up passing on the ad. Uh, it did bounce, and so I, well, on this bounce, I went ahead and got out of my Mighty 90 and took a loss. And, uh, and then it, it turned around and kind of pushed through this big volume bar. So I waited for a little pullback, pulled back to this pivot and got long here, got long with a little bit, uh, decent size because if it broke below this, I was just going to cut out for a small loss and it bounced hard, got out of some, and then just kind of scaled out as it trailed higher. I think I got out of my last piece right here before we ended the live stream. Uh, so zoom, uh, minus 210 on the, um, on the mighty 90, but plus 880 on that runner. So nice PL overall in Zoom Zoom. Uh, on to the other runners. Uh, let's go to the S&P. So the S&P, uh, this, this blue line represents Friday's high, which also represents all-time highs in the S&P. So had some initial, initial strength here. When it started chopping around, I was looking for a potential continuation uh, into new all-time highs. Uh, didn't get there. It had a little pop up. I got out of uh, three fifths of my position. I had I just had five contracts. Got out of three of those, and then it, when it started to roll over here, I just cut out of my last one, uh, last couple, and uh, scratched out a little profit of thirty three seventy five. In AMD, uh, AMD had this nice little volume spike here. So on this little baby pullback, got long, had a nice push up, got out of got out of half my position. Then it came down. I was looking for a continuation higher. Never, never broke through the highs again. Just kind of chopped around. So I ended up cutting out of my last piece there, taking a small winner of 135 on that one. And then Roku was my biggest winner. Had a couple trades here in Roku. Uh, in Roku, uh, had this initial weakness here, and the, the volume bar was pretty big on that. So, I was, so on this bounce, I was looking for a short, and it was bumping up into a key level. So I got short right here, and then this thing just flushed. Ended up getting out of my last piece, I believe, right here at this pivot. Uh, and so I booked a nice trade there. And then when this thing bounced up, uh, I was looking for a reversal. 
our what we call our volume reversal trade that we've been working on. And when it pulled back a little bit, got long, kind of chopped around for a while, chopped around, and then finally just started grinding, grinding, grinding higher. Uh, and I think I got out of my last piece around right here. It even continued even higher than that, but booked plus 965 on that one. A uh, win, don't trade win too much. And there's a reason I don't, I really don't like win. It's never been good to me. And, and more importantly, not that, not that it's just been, you know, kind of a losing symbol for me, but I just don't like the way the options trade in relation to the price action. So, but took a small position here uh, on this little volume spike. It was green. It ended up closing red. And then when it broke down below here, I just was like, you know what? I'm getting out of here. I think this is going lower. So I just cut out for a small loss, took a $90 loss on that. And then um, I already showed you Zoom. So that's it. Plus, uh, plus 2,000, what did I say? Uh, on the day, plus 2,142.75. Uh, so great way to start the week, and that's our sixth green day in a row. So hopefully, hopefully we can keep this streak alive. We will see you in the live stream tomorrow.